a country of 11 official languages. The Rainbow Nation welcomes the global stars of Sevens Rugby under the watchful eye of Table Mountain. It is the world to South Africa once again as Cape Town plays hosts to the HSBC World Seven Series. Look at Pool A for the men. South Africa, France, Fiji and Canada. And Pool B is Ireland and Samoa, Uruguay and Japan. New Zealand will head out Pool C with Argentina, Kenya and Spain. And over in Pool D, USA, Australia, Great Britain and our invitational team this weekend is Uganda. Stay bound. Thank you. They'll be wanting to change that here in Dubai this weekend. That top four automatic Olympic qualifying spots, of course. And they may well get more points before full time they do. Yoani Ratu Rathiri off the bench. And putting the cherry on top for the Flying Fijians. We're tidying up at the base there from the Blitz box. Here is Duarte. Sending away a terrific ball over to Van Vey. Skip stepping, hopping, and towing ahead. Here he comes. Boom! There's the try. Shilton Van Vey, the player of the match in the final in Dubai, and doing it oh so well at home also. Apelu Maliko with a little chip and chase for himself and now it's a foot race. Apelu Maliko with an individual show oh. of skill and class. Did he get it down? Yes, he did. What a play. And that is a big try for Samoa. 30 seconds on the clock and a little tip on pass and they find some space in the Japan defence. And Ireland comfortably will now put this game away. Mark Roach. It just opened up like the Red Sea. And there was space in front of him. Perfectly timed pass. And he has actually got gas to burn. So comfortable in that stride. Matthias Osadzuk, OU, is opposite skipper. Can't bring him down either. He still going, the Argentina captain. How about a, a dummy into the mix as well? What a run from Osadzuk. They'll pick, they'll go, and they'll score. It's Fraha with his second try. But what about Matias Osadzuk, the new skipper of this Argentina side? Well, it's a good way to start your captaincy, isn't it? You had no right. They tap and go. Looking to extend their lead here, Spain. This could be a famous victory. Ramos is over the line. He scores for Spain. They extend their lead. And they're just under two minutes from an enormous upset here. Yeah, the skipper there doing some outstanding work. He saw that the defence was over chasing, so he used his great footwork. There it is there. There's the dummy. There's two defenders beaten and a third in the tackle. Nice put down. Bacon on the field as well, and away comes one of the flies in the GB cap, Sofalaren, just like he did seven days back against Australia, streaks away. And he'll square it with a kick to come from right in front. Great Britain going down 28 19 against the Aussies last week, find themselves in front. And this is the final play, they're up by two. And it comes from Talapusi, and now they line them up across to the left, and the leap brings Esdale. It all started that scrum, you know the hook has to go out left. Manipulate the defense, get the extra guy, and they know there's so much space out wide. He's covering the width of the field, there's going to be gaps in the middle, and that's exactly what happened. Day one's play here in Cape Town and Fiji in Pool A, too good for France, impressive as well. Uruguay and Japan both 
delivering a whole lot more than they did in the early games last week in Dubai. So promising signs for the underdogs in those losses against Samoa and Ireland. That's Paul B locked away for day one. Paul C and it was Argentina. Too good for Kenya and there it is, Spain with that monumental win, that upset victory against New Zealand, closing out Paul C and then Paul D, another upset. Oh yeah, it was Australia going down to an excellent Great Britain, whilst USA, well, they were led beautifully by Lucas LeCamp, who's got three tries in that 38 to five route of Uganda. Sevens World Series returns to Cape Town for the first time since 2019. We are back in action. Not long from now, we'll catch you all again tomorrow morning for more of the Sevens from Cape Town.